Hey guys, I'm Jinx, and welcome back to the Lion Song. Let's talk to the gentleman. Excuse me. Hans Marke, do you know him? Yes, I know him, and his work. Quite well, as a matter of fact. Although, we've never met. Alright, next... Next thing. Next flashback. Oh, hold, oh no, it's that guy? A few months ago. <laughs> this copy is qu coming along quite nicely. Oh, you're copying. Oh, oh. Right, that's right. That's a dude that's copying, like, famous uh, paintings. It is showing my latest portrait this evening at the salon. I am very proud of you. Turn the pain. Why did the screen move? Turn the painting before they see. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Hide. Market may have seen you before. Carry on. As if they weren't coming our, your way. Did he hide it before? Let's just carry on. Okay. A tough subject, as you'll, as you'll see. I am sure you captured him or her admirably. Makut, Makut himself and another exhibition. More work for you, Paul, old fellow. Thanks for inviting me, Makut. Are you talking to yourself? Hold it right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. oh, he's right behind me. I need to hide somewhere. You won't escape this time. Uh oh. Stop, Weber. Weber. Ah, move. The oh, fuck? Sir. You dropped your painting. How can this be? Hold it right there! Y you keep it. Oh, what? What is it? It's... It's one of mine. I got a little confused who was talking there. Stop, Weber! <laughs> this is a misunderstanding! Ah, move! <laughs> Just move it. Oh! That was... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> you're the caretaker! Nicole! Hmm. Oh! Have you seen my little girl? She's running away again. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh. Sorry, the lines. And holy shit, the music's loud. Sorry. <laughs> All I've seen is an angel standing right in front of me. Um. Excuse me? You're beautiful. Dar. I asked you about a little girl, Nicole. Ah. Though. It was your gorgeous voice, echoing through the streets, calling me here to you. <laughs> I take it your name is Nicole then as well? My dear. Ugh. 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 <laughs> Sorry. You can call me whatever you desire. What I desire is for you to tell me whether you've seen Nicole or not. You. Daredevil. Romeo. Man of your dreams. Man of my nightmares, more like. Now that you mention it, I did see a little girl. Which direction did she go? I could tell you. Let's not be that much of a dick if you tell me your name. I don't think so. Halt! Oh. 
Remember, remember me? <laughs> right behind me, yeah, 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 yeah. I apologize about my voice acting as bad as it is, but somehow I can't seem to keep voices in order. Halt! You cannot escape. Useless crate, blocking crowd, climb the fence, talk to policeman. The useless crate! What am I supposed to do with that? Don't you dare move! Oh shh. Um, so what, we have two more attempts? No, we can't climb that, we can't- just... Fucking disappear into the crowd. They're blocking my way. Stay right there! D don't worry, officer, I, I can't run anyway. You got me. Oh! Well, that's handy. <laughs> Stop! Oh, sorry. I encountered the markets often, but I was beneath their interest. I, I was invisible to them, probably because I'm not very, I'm not a very outgoing person. I decided that should change. So you're a street artist. You copy famous paintings for the tourists. Something like that. Makut's early works weren't as sophisticated as his later portraits. It feels as if he were an overnight sensation. I like to think the people around him, his patron, Grete Lavnitsak, La Lavnitsak, Grete, and even I, in my own small way, helped him evolve so quickly. We were never formally introduced, but I made my presence felt. Sure you did. A few weeks ago. I wonder, is this the right place? Gustav Klimt, Wim Wait? What? Where? Is that her? Where? Where's Wilma? It's been a while since I've seen her. That... That's Grete, Markert, obviously. Franz, I have no clue who that is, but that's Clint. Um, well, is are we gonna talk to whoever I click on? Because then I kind of wanna. Well, I mean, it would only make the most sense to. Never formally introduced. Eh, whatever. Over there, Gustav Klimt. He he he. Oh, okay. Is that Vilma Dörfe? Certainly not. The young lady accompanying Professor Kaban is a new prodigy. Okay, yeah, I guess they're somewhere off to the right. Arthur and a new prodigy. Can that be Grete the critic? Yeah, his voice changed. Of course that that of course that is what I love Nick Suck. Everyone knows her. You oaf <laughs> <laughs> what did you call me? Who's that person? A failed artist? Or a beggar? Maybe both. Oh, th there's Markut. Yes, this is definitely the place. Such a distinct distinguished audience. Ugh. Rest like this. I'll stand out like a donkey among racehorses. I need a disguise. Clothes make the man. Yeah, I mean, napkins are sure to do the trick. Klimt, Grete, watch unveiling. Oh, the unveiling of his new portrait. Yeah, I'd like to see that actually. What did he paint? I like, or is that his um, self-portrait? Maybe I don't think so. Right? I think it's this is past that. I don't think anyone would mind me borrowing that jacket. Yeah, I'm sure nobody saw you do that. Napkins. Huh. One of these might, might serve as a... Really? A stylish scarf? It's a napkin. There. Almost... That word. Waiter. Excuse me. I seem to have misplaced my glass. Here you go, my hair. Cheers. I didn't you just he just talked to us, my dude, and we were we had different clothing. Like what do you think we where did we get them from? Like come on. 
grammar wasn't all there in that sentence just then, but whatever. I climbed. Yes. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. And yours, Herr Weber. Paul Weber. Ah, yes. Do you know Franz Marcus? Well, I discovered him. Were you not were you not here when I introduced him? I'm I'm afraid my aunt was terribly sick uh, that day. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know who Marcus' latest subject is? He wouldn't tell me. But we shall see in a few moments, won't we? Sh shan't we? Or shan't we? If you're gonna use shall, use the fucking other more fancy negative word of that, whatever. Please excuse me. Yeah, sure. Uh, Greta. Good evening. Madame. Good evening. Do I know you from somewhere? You don't remember me? I'm terribly sorry, but I can't recall your face. Um, I'm sorry. I can't seem to remember where we met either. Well, if you do, please enlighten me. I need to find out more about Fräulein Lavnitsak. You do? Why? What's your goal? Yeah, what is your goal? <laughs> like, what are we trying to achieve? <laughs> Let's just watch the unveiling. Oh, wait. Is this going to be her portrait? But that would be even before the self-portrait. No, it's after. Hmm. It doesn't look like the unveiling will start anytime soon. Okay. So... Klimt? What do I do? My... My dear Gustav, yes? Please excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Uh, <laughs> hello, sir. Please excuse me. And then just leave. Waiter. Ugh. You wouldn't happen to know something about the guests here? What would you like to know? What is Fräulein Lavnitzak like? Uh, his voice changed again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> She is a genius if I ever saw one. Painting is easy. What? But distinguishing art from the mundane. I am not sure I quite agree. And real from fake. That is hard. W well, if you put it that way, I'm some imitations are indeed quite good. What? You've missed my point entirely. Never mind. Um... Can you tell me something interesting about Marcus? I am afraid the answer to that question is no. Okay. Why? Why go the extra? Why, like, why put in the extra effort to give me an answer like that instead of just saying no? Whatever. Do you often work at events like these? Yes, when I'm not serving at the cafe, I know, and your voice now is different from fucking 10 minutes ago when you were at the cafe, but we're gonna ignore that. I try to focus on events of cultural significance. How can you tell what's culturally significant? Oh, you must be joking. Ugh. Just look at the people that are gathered here. Gathered here. The creme de la creme of Vienna. The last time I saw them all in one place was when I waited tables for Ed Herr Klimt's birthday. Oh, interesting. It is, isn't it? Well, thank you. Klimt's birthday. Well, I love it. like must have been there as well. Are you trying to make it as a painter? Or like... I don't know. Herr Klimt. Yes. We spoke at your birthday party. We did? Do you remember discussing our upcoming collaboration? Oh, you mean modeling for the nude group painting? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, I will get back to you regarding my schedule. <laughs> Please do. I am in desperate need of some more cheer-ups. Cheer -ups? That was close. Please excuse me. Okay. Limped again. My dear Gustav, yes. 
Please excuse me, okay? Maybe Grete? You again. Do you remember where we met? We met at Gustav's birthday party. Oh, there were so many there. You must excuse my hazy memory. It's... it's no trouble. <clears throat> what do you want to speak to me about? Tell me about... What you've been doing lately. His latest sub market says subject who market will paint next. Oh. What are you doing these days? Oh. A rather personal question, wouldn't you say? I I'm I'm sorry, it's just that I so look forward to your criti critiques. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, uh, was there anything else? Tell me about... Just between the two of us. Do you know who the latest subject is? You will see soon enough, will you not? Nevertheless, from what I hear, he or she was a challenging subject. I can tell you that it's someone you're quite familiar with. Oh, most interesting. Was there anything else? I was wondering about... So is is this the unveiling of his self-portrait? I thought this, would, this point in time would be past him showing his self-portrait but maybe maybe this is his self-portrait I, I don't know <clears throat> who Margaret will paint next he we he has been toying with the idea of visiting Berlin has he now to gain a much needed change in perspective yes I'll leave you be excuse me Okay, so can we now watch the unveiling? Finally, please. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Sorry. I think they're about to start. Keep painting, Market. We can make it... Oh, fortune together. <laughs> you are an art dealer? Uh, I sell paintings, yes. Here's my card. I'm always pleased to welcome new patrons. Okay. <laughs> yes, and I've sold a couple of yours already, I Clint. Sure, yeah. Okay, it's... Since none of us know what tomorrow may bring, I may as well confirm what you what you already su 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 suspect. I am a forger. Forger. You copy an artist's work, then sell it as an original. Only fine art, understand? There is so much dreck. <laughs> Dirt. Direct translation. On display these days. I copy only the best. You've copied more than one market, I, th I take it? How could I not? Market was a dream come true. I copied several of his earliest works, then sold them to rich tourists who knew no better. But... Ever in your ways, tourists are in short supply these days, are they? You've decided to concentrate on your own inspiration. But you've decided to concentrate on your own inspirations. Inspiration? Shall I list for you the artists who've whose work was only discovered after they were dead? I'd rather not wait for my rewards. M my mistake. Wh what were you going to say? He outgrew both himself and, unfortunately, me. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please gather around. It is time for the unveiling of Franz's latest work. Who will it be? Any ideas? His subjects are from all classes, all walks of life. It, it's impossible to know. I hope it's a man. It's said he has, he has affairs with all his female models. <laughs> what you mean is you hope he paints you. Well, of course, I would be honored. Oh. It is crazy.
I knew at once there was no way I could copy that. Have you seen most of his recent paintings? Yes. His work has turned darker of late. As if the light were going out, out of the world. Really? 104 kilo- Wow, alright, we s skipped ahead a lot. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, farm boy then. So I, I assume this story is gonna be about uh, Vilma. Excuse me. Yes? What brings you to- oh. <clears throat> what brings you on this train today? Me? My family. I'll be sending the money. That's very noble of you. I'll finally be able to help support them. Okay. Excuse me, yes? Say, do you play the harmonica or only polish it? Excuse me, yes. Oh. Do you know any other songs? I know one. I could try. Interesting. I know that piece, but I can't remember where I heard it. Hey, Vilma composed it. Who is Vilma? Your lover, perhaps? Sister, I assume. What? Th no? She's my sister. She's a composer. Vilma Duff. Why is this spelled differently suddenly? Vilma Duff. You've you've never heard of her? I can't say I have. No, never. Me neither. But stop throwing me out of dialogue. I want to talk to him more. Tell us about your sister. Vilma didn't always live in Vienna. You grew up on a farm with Mama, Papa, and me. But one night, all that changed. That all changed. Tell us. Alright. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. A few years ago. Well played, big sister. We ha oh, that's right. We, ha we have to hurry, Otto. Otto? Papa told us to be home before 10. I'll collect the money. Vilma, old man. Nothing else. Old man. The young one plays well. Vilma is self-taught, and she writes many of her own songs. What's that you say? She's elf-taught? Do you think I'm daft? I suppose elves made her violin. She taught herself to play, and Papa bought her violin and milk. Oh. Oh. Well, here then. Thank you. I'm glad you liked what you heard. Oh. Tough-looking man, drinking man... Oh, okay. Tough-looking man. Big boy. Big lad. Oh god. Ugh. This is this about to get disgusting? Send you. <laughs> oh no, it's a. Ugh. I can't make. I can't do accents. Send your sister over, boy. I have something I'd like to. Discuss with her. Can't do accents, I apologize. Uh. Enjoy this. Ugh. Ow. Ugh. Ugh. Can't we just, like, punch him and then run? Because, like, he's several times our own weight, but just, just, like, one quick jab in the, into his fucking face, and then just run. I mean, we already collected the money, there's nothing more we need. If you enjoyed the songs, could you spare a few corn? That is not all I want to enjoy. That wasn't even it. She plays the violin for money, that's all. Now, pay up or shut up. <laughs> Watch your mouth twig or I'll snap you in two. 
you just try it. Uh, <laughs> oak tree. <laughs> Fucking oak tree. Sir, my my songs are meant to soothe, not sour. I'm sure Otto and my papa and my three uncles would not take kindly to anyone who spoiled the mood. She, she's right. There are, there are a fearful lot of Dorfels. There are a fearful lot of Dorfels. Okay, Dorfels. Don't you want her money? No, I don't want... <laughs> No, I don't want your dirty money. As you wish. More, more, <laughs> more to buy beer for me. Okay. We could have used this money also. Yeah, but also fuck him. Come on. Stranger is a stranger. I don't recognize him. He looks like he should have at least, he should at least have some coin on him. Oh! Is, who's talking? You? Himself? <laughs> this is Professor Caban. He has an offer for Vilma. And what do you want with my sister? <laughs> Young man, I ensure you my intentions are honorable. Oh? I am Arthur Caban. Here is my card. As you see, I am a professor of musical theory. From, from Vienna. Hmm, it was only by chance that Professor Caban stopped at the inn on his way to Salzburg. He was very impressed with Wilma's songs and told us he would try to and arrange a scholarship for her at the institute where he taught. It was a dream come true for her, one of our, one our parents could not have paid for. Compositions were that good even then, the playing at the inn was helping your family. She must have been thrilled at the opportunity. Her playing in the inn was helping her family. Yes. We... Everyone had to pitch in to make ends meet. That was one of, one of the reasons Vilma didn't want to go. What was it like growing up with, with a prodigy like Vilma? <laughs> a prodigy? Vilma? She she was years older than Mozart. Most girls her age were already married. Okay, then what was it like growing up with your big sister? Well, of course big sisters are given but big sisters are given to younger brothers to tease, okay. Of course. She could she could hear music even when none was played. I guess it came from inside her. She'd close her eyes and listen, lost to the world. And naturally, you were respectful of that. Naturally? Well, no. I, it was the perfect time to steal her violin and hide it. Perfect. Come on, man. <laughs> Several years ago. I'll show them what I can play, too. Oh, all right. Oh, come on. Okay, it's right there. I just need to wait for the right moment. Um, okay. I... I have... Jesus Christ, bird, please. Oh my god. I have a theory that we're gonna steal the violin, try to play it, really suck at it, Vilma's gonna hear, she's gonna come over, and then it's gonna be like a sweet bonding moment, because she's gonna console also. I was supposed to help Papa with the, uh, with the oxen. He won't notice I'm missing if I'm fast enough. Yeah, that's, that's real, that's really fast, my dude. <laughs> Back here, Vilma should not be able to see me. <laughs> oh, I just need to wait for when she plays, eh? Careful now. Oh. Oh, because I clicked over here? Find a violin of your own, Otto. And then steal it from yourself. 
<laughs> oh, come on. I need to be more careful. Notice me if I move while she's humming or playing. Sure. There we go. Back here, Rima should not be able to see me. Now move. Stop. Oh, oh, I have to stop. Oh, gotcha. Stop. Okay. He's humming right now. You can stop. I mean... Jesus Christ, bird. I guess we're close enough? Yeah. <laughs> she noticed. Otto! Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, it wasn't easy. It took skill and daring to steal that violin. Where did you hide it? Oh, some place out of the way, but safe. I didn't... It, it didn't want anything to happen to it. Okay. I didn't want anything to happen to it. Again. So now you play an instrument too. Did you take up the harmonica because of your sister? I guess I did in a way. My papa gave it to me. I'm not very good at it. At least not as good as Vilma. There was always music in her. I sense another story. <laughs> you ask a lot of questions. I'm a journalist. Well, at least I was. That's the only backstory we've gotten on this dude so far, and he's our almost like protagonist in this episode. Like, I guess his entire reason for being is that he is the medium through which we get closure on all the previous characters. He's not like a Maybe he will be, but as of right now, he's not like a real character. He's more like the in-universe reason or way that we f get information about what happened to all the characters and all that. There isn't much more to tell. It was after Vilma got her violin. We didn't have much, so naturally, I was jealous. Jinx jealous? All right. Clouds float in the blue skies, and a spring song is sung. Well done. Many, many years ago. The very young lad. Both of you. <laughs> hey, wow. Again, again, again! <laughs> Vilma, what is it? Did we miss a note? No, you played... You played it as written. We sang it as written. Here we go again. Then what is wrong? Can't you hear it, Papa? The passage here. And now clouds float. Clouds! The notes are so boring. But we always sing it like that. I want to sing it the same way. But it's boring. Now, hold on, both of you. Papa, you need to play better notes. Can't you hear how exciting it could be? Ah. Uh, show me. Me? You play, Papa, not Vilma. Let your sister try, Otto. I mean... It's alright. Show us. Like this? That's very good. Hmm. Oh, no, I'm not gonna interrupt. Come on. Do I have to interrupt? It would make sense, right? Because he's jealous. But, I mean, right now he looks happy. Yeah, that's a smile on his face. Those, those eyebrows are raised pleasantly. There we go. We didn't have to interrupt. The notes don't have to be so... well-matched. Each can have its own life. Aha! Uh -huh. Go on, keep playing. Wait! Then we should change what we sing, too. Oh? 
What do you have in mind? I can come up with something too. Let's see. Uh, flowers, window, be <laughs> bench, bugs having fun, songs being sung, and she's. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Otto, you will not sing that! And the clouds are gone. And bees started working. Oh, the bees started working. And my papa is strong. Alright. You can sing that if you want to. Now, Vilma, play. There. <laughs> there. Can you play it like this? No. You're right. The violin is yours, Vedma. Keep it. Play it. Make your music. Uh. Poor little jealous boy. She trembled. Looked down at the violin in her hands. Her eyes were shining. That... That was the beginning. I wish I had heard her in her concert. I wonder when, when I'll hear another concert. There will always be music, my friend. Even here. Okay. 22 kilometers left. So, I assume next time we will arrive um, wherever it is we're trying to go. I actually, I don't know if it was said, if so, then I forgot, or I didn't pick up on it or whatever. I actually don't know. Um, <clears throat> I actually don't know what our destination is, but we will find out in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all next time. Auf Wiedersehen.